last night <sighs> didn't work out as planned went to bed fine got comfy but the wind oh the wind was driving me crazy it was blowing the tent everywhere it wasn't cold it was just super annoying and then at one point I had to get out and put some of the pegs back in the ground I lost some pegs it just drove me to the point of deciding to just pack it all up in the middle of the night and head back to the van and after all that I decided to come to another location isn't the particular feature I'm looking for that's the one I'm heading for but I want to shoot from here to another one called Chrome Hill sunrise is in about 10-15 minutes so hopefully I can get up a good position before then yeah learnt a few things last night learnt not to pitch a tent on a hill uh, where it's just open and therefore the wind can just blow you away. I learnt that. I learnt maybe I should have checked the forecast more carefully. Um, but we live and learn. We live and we learn. Check it out. It reminds me of like a dragon's back, a reptile's back with the scales and everything. Whew. So I'm at the top of that mound, whatever you want to call it, that we were just looking at. But this is the one I want to get a shot of. Look at it. Just looks amazing, doesn't it? You don't see many features like that. It looks like it should belong on the Isle of Skye, really. On the Kerrang. Old man of store. It fits in with that. Not in the Peak District which would be rolling hills, some bigger hills, but not that kind of feature. Nice clear skies, nice colours at the moment. Sunrise must be over there somewhere. So I'm thinking maybe it's going to illuminate one side, get a nice glow from the sun hitting that side, a shadow from the other side down in the valley here, with the rest of it lit up. We're on to something. Did I mention it's quite cold? Whew. Sun is rising over here, clouds looking purpley as ever, golden hues, some nice light coming on this chrome hill now, purpley hues, it's all going well, it's all going well. I've got this all set up, polarizer to knock down some reflections in the sky, uh, reverse grad to bring down the light on the horizon f5.6 manually focused one quarter of a second shutter speed coldness wind batteries dying here and there 
but it's all worth it. Oh yeah, I've got good feelings about this picture this morning. I feel a lot of elements are coming together. Beautiful sunrise. I mean, there's not any clouds this way, that's a shame. But I feel, once, oh look, you can start seeing the light on the hill here. As we get more and more intense light, golden colours. And some of them will flood down into the fields here. Then we get the shadow from the hill. Some nice contrasting, just contrast, some nice contrast. I feel it add up to a nice picture. Picture perfect. Look, ooh, along the tops here of the hills, you're seeing this light coming in. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's all coming together really well. We can see the sun's hitting the top of this hill, but as it rises, it's gonna lower down. So we're gonna light up more of this valley here, which would be lovely. I just wish there was some more cloud and some mist. Mist and cloud. And this would have been perfect, but still gonna be pretty good. It's a beautiful morning, really. We've got one, two, three clouds. Boop, boop, boop. I'm not going to complain though, I'm not going to complain. We can see here as the sun is rising, the glorious shadows we're getting from the hill, uh, the light striking parts of the land there, adding some really nice contrast to the picture. So even though the sky is a little bit meh, the actual land looks amazing. Because there's not much going on in the sky as well, it's, I feel like there's not much point hanging around too long here this morning. Just going to wait a bit longer and so the shadows get shorter. A bit shorter, not too short. And a bit more of the land down the bottom is lit up. After that, uh, well, get back in the warm, I think. Peeking its head up above the hill there. It's blinding me. So the shadows are going to get more and more intense as so we can see. Just got to be ready, snap away. Snap away. Last day or so that I've been going around here taking pictures, it's more of a to get the feel, to get the lay of the land, to know. So when I come back, I've got in my idea how long it's going to take to get to places, what I've got to work with, that kind of thing. It helps you plan. 
helps me plan anyway. Think of things that I can use. Because sometimes you can do all your planning you want on the computer, but until you get there, you just don't know. Sometimes compositions don't work how you, how you were thinking, or you notice something new that can work better. And, and a lot of the time the conditions aren't amazing, like last night. Too much cloud. Could have been amazing sunset, but just too much cloud blocking out the sunset. And this morning, gorgeous, gorgeous light, just nothing happening in the sky. So it's missing that element in the sky there. So next time, next time will be better. Ah!